All right, here we go. Question number 16 from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. They want us to find the dot product V dot W and they want us to find the angle between V and W. So the first thing I need to remind you of when they want to find the dot product, product means stack them, V over W. And then what that does is it lines up the pieces that are going to get multiplied. Let me go ahead and fill in the missing coefficients real quick. So for vector V, the coefficient of I is negative 1. And for vector W, the coefficient of K is 1. To find the dot product, we're going to multiply the A's together. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. We're going to multiply the B's together, negative 6. And we're going to multiply the C's together, plus 3. And then all you have to do to get the uh, dot product is take those three numbers and add them up. Negative 4, negative 6 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. And we're done with the dot product. Oh, and it's right. Yay. Now, for finding the angle between two three-dimensional vectors. To find the angle between two three-dimensional vectors, that formula is the inverse cosine of the dot product divided by the magnitudes multiplied. And so we're going to have to find the magnitude of V and W in order to get this angle. So let's scroll up and over like this. And then we're going to start with the magnitude of V. Remember, the magnitude formula is the square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So that'll be the square root of negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 3 squared. And then I could do that uh, mentally or manually, but I'm going to do it electronically. Negative 1 squared is 1 squared plus negative 2 squared is the same as 2 squared plus 3 squared. Square root of 14, and that is in simplest radical form. Next, I need the magnitude of W, and that's going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. And again, I'm going to use my calculator just to make sure. Square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. Square root of 26 in simplest radical form. And now I can plug and play into the formula to find the angle between the two vectors. All right, so that's going to be the inverse cosine of the dot product, which was negative 7, divided by the magnitudes which were square root of 14 and square root of 26. And those need to be multiplied. And again, at this point, I've got something that I could input into my calculator all at one time and get that angle. So here we go. In degree mode, inverse cosine of negative 7 over the square root of 14, don't forget to move out from under the square root, times the square root of 26, out, out, close it, and that angle is obtuse. Now, where do I need to round that? To the nearest tenth of a degree. 
So that will be 111.5 degrees. Should be the angle between the two vectors. Let's see how we did. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.